Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 9 of the Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial series and today we're going to talk about how uh, Backstage View works inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So over here you might feel that you may need to close all of the PowerPoint slide if you want to create something new. So you don't actually have to close the entire PowerPoint software. So what you can simply do is go into Backstage View. So if you were to go over to File right here, you can see that the Backspace View, uh, backspace view is here. So over here you can see you can create a new document, open a new document, save it, save it as, print, share, export and so forth. And you can even uh, set protection values right here. And on the right side you can actually see the details of the PowerPoint slide itself. So over here you can see the size of the PowerPoint, number of slides, number of words, notes if I have any, title of the slide over here. You can see the presentation format right here. You can see the template name and so forth. So even the last modification date. So you can also specify the managers. For example, I have two managers right here. You can also add in some to someone else. So let's say, for example, if I want to add YouTube as a manager, you can see that you don't see a, a person right here. So you can simply go to the address book and press OK. So if you do not have any suggestions, it will actually add that in. So you can see that now I have three uh, one manager that is YouTube and authors so you can even add authors over here so it'll even show me the details on who modified the um, information last so you can even show fewer options so that limits the information over here or show more options so you can even go to open file location so it is gonna show the location of where the um, file is being saved on my computer for that particular presentation slide in my case it is located right here so that is how you can use the backspace view over here so you can close the document just by clicking on close right here and it'll ask me whether you want to save it so i'm going to say yes and you can see that the powerpoint slide is actually open and um, the powerpoint uh, software is open but the slides aren't so you can you don't have to quit the software just like that so go to file go to open uh, and you can see that on the recent file uh, you can uh, go to presentation one and there you go I have my slide and if you want to uh, open up another slide I can go over here just go to open open up test presentation so since it is stored on my OneDrive it is actually loading it from the internet and there you go so now if you want to switch between the slides you can simply click over here and you can see that there's the slide over here and there's the slide over here so that is how you can work with uh, slides inside of Microsoft PowerPoint quite easily. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe